guys welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be talking about five things that I feel that my recommendations on how you should start modding a car um, it's, it's not I, I'm not telling you that you should do it like this but um, I've seen several posts online where you know people that when they first get their car they'll go post it asking for people's opinions or recommendation on what they should do first to the car and honestly at the end of the day it's your car so it's your opinion you have the last word on what you do to the car and what you want to put onto the car don't let anybody tell you how to mod your car do it to your liking and go off of that it's okay to get opinions but like I said at the end of the day you make the final decision I have given plenty of of advice on Instagram to some of you guys that have messaged me on uh, on there and honestly if you keep messaging me I'm gonna respond back sometimes I might not get back to you right away but eventually I will but anyways uh, let's say if I'm just gonna speak on my behalf um, let's say if I were to buy a car stock uh, the first thing that I would do is lower it lowering the car will change it more than you would think um, it, it kind of depends on how you look at the car but in my opinion it makes the car look wider and also it makes it look longer um, it's just because it gives it a lower stance uh, so you can either go with springs coilovers or airbags we're not cutting the springs anymore this is not the early 2000s do not cut any springs second spoiler these cars look very naked without a spoiler um, I mean it kind of all depends on what the look you're going for is but a spoiler changes the look of the car a lot there's so many options for spoilers at the moment right now for our cars for the F30 and it all kind of depends on how much you want to pay but it's they're all fairly priced unless you actually go OEM then you're gonna be paying a lot third wheels wheels plays a big part on the build that's probably the one of the biggest purchases that you'll end up making when it comes to modding a car it all depends on your budget like you can buy a set of wheels that are used for like 600 or if you really want to spend it you can buy four or five thousand dollar wheels not that I would ever do it I don't think so unless I was in the spot to maybe do it um, I would love to be able to do it but I'm not at that point right now so my suggestion is look around the forums look around Facebook groups you do not have to buy wheels brand new you can buy them used let's say if they have some curb rash or anything like that that's okay if you can always get them refinished um, the wheels that I have now they go for four thousand or forty two hundred dollars brand new did I pay that no um, I bought them used um, I got a deal from the guy who sold them to me um, the tires were practically brand new so I got a $5,000 setup for $1,500 with tires and I mean you really can't complain with that so honestly guys don't have don't feel like you have to buy brand new wheels um, oh and I spent $600 to get them refinished so not counting the tires I probably have about $1,600 because the tires were used so technically mm, I'd say maybe like $1,600 invested in the wheels and they're practically brand new because I mean everything's everything got refinished so look around guys um, go on Facebook and the, on the forums like I was saying and you'll you might come across a good deal um, just be patient and um, you know don't rush into things unless you really have a deadline then you're kind of out of luck because I've been there before the fourth thing would probably be exhaust um, I hate I mean this is just this could be either way honestly I hate having a quiet car um, I want to be able to hear it at least a little bit uh, especially if it's something that I'm modding it's my personal opinion um, that's kind of one of the first things that I did to the car I did it right after I did the coilovers it was actually a custom made muffler delete but you don't have to do a muffler delete you can actually buy an actual exhaust um, this is just something that I wanted. I love the way these the N55 sound.
that's that's why I went with that route. Um, and last would be depending what car you have, whether it be a base model or a M Sport. Um, either way, a lip is gonna change the look of the car a lot. Um, it's there. Lips are really inexpensive right now unless you go carbon fiber. Um, you can actually get a polyurethane lip for anywhere between 130 to 170, 180, depending what lip you get and who you get it from. Um, that's kind of my suggestion and obviously paint's going to be extra but that's something that you have to consider about as well. But that's, you know, those are the main things that are going to transform your car to something completely different um, well not completely different but it'll be a dramatic change it's kind of hard for me to sit here and tell you guys what I would do first because I go based on what I find deal wise uh, if I find a set of wheels for a good price first I'm gonna buy those wheels because I know that those certain wheels don't come across don't come around too often and uh, you kind of have to be smart about it um, depending how much you have to spend maybe you might be able to buy everything at once um, you never know so that's pretty much it for today guys um, hopefully this help you, helps you if you're just kind of starting um, I didn't really put anything in consideration when it came to budget wise um, now I might do another video talking about things that you can actually get if you're on a budget um, so that'll probably be another video coming up um, but yeah guys if you're new to the channel and if you haven't already do me a favor hit that subscribe button um drop a like and uh yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one